guys, today I got three of my most wanted Ninjago sets custom designed on Fiverr. We have the Monastery Training Area, Odara's Brickhead, and even Chen's Noodle Truck. Each of these three sets came with not only the instructions, but also a parts list, meaning that I could order the bricks to them and essentially build my very own Lego set in real life. This is very expensive. Oh god. And after spending over £200 getting the parts together and weeks of waiting, the orders began to flood in one by one. That's a lot of Lego. So please do consider subscribing because I have absolutely no idea if these sets which I'd wanted for literally decades are going to live up to my expectations. Well, I guess let's start off with opening them, shall we? I had over 14 packages to go through, each with the pieces individually bought from tons of different sellers. So after carefully opening them all, there was no guarantee that this would be legit. All right, so I've got all of the parts laid out now in what sets they're from. I think all the parts are here in somewhat good condition, but we'll just find out, I guess. Oh, God. <laughs> First up was the Dareth Brickhead, a 150-piece recreation of my favourite Ninjago character in the form of a Lego Brickhead, which are basically just knock-off Funko Pops. And I'm incredibly excited to build them. Oh, boy. Dareth, I'm coming for you. And after pouring out all of the parts and getting everything together, I got to work with building the first of my dream Lego sets. The thing with these three sets is that they'd only ever been built in digital softwares, meaning that there was no real guarantee that they wouldn't just collapse as soon as I'd built them, which became increasingly worrying when the instructions show techniques like this. <laughs> Disturbing, I know. I have no idea what this is. Bruh. But I continued onward and the Dareth Brickhead is now done. And honestly, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. You've got Dareth's luscious hair, his wonderful clothes, the star on his back, and even his shoes. This thing is perfect. All of the parts were that, the instructions were so easy to follow, and now I have the first of my most wanted Ninjago sets. I'm Aww. in love. But this was only the beginning, with the next two sets being considerably more complex and the risk growing even greater that they might just collapse. With the next set being the Monastery Training Area. This is a set that was incredibly nostalgic to me and I've wanted since I was literally five. And I pray to God that everything is in there so I can build it and add it to my collection. So after getting all of the pieces together and preparing to add another set to my collection, I got to building. Now this set is comprised of several main structures making up the dojo area. So I finished the main portion of the monastery at the moment and I've gotta say, this thing is absolutely fantastic. But because it wasn't made by Lego themselves, they're not particularly stable. Oh God. Though I was determined to get this thing finished because I had to show that if LEGO won't make the sets we want, then we can just do it ourselves. The build is finally done, and I've got to say, this was so worth it. You've got the main monastery area here, which was pulled straight out of the show. Some functioning machinery for the ninja to train on, and quite a lot of it, which looks great. Some wooden platforms for the ninja to jump over. Again, straight from the show. And my personal favourite part of the set has to be the punching bag area, where you have two punching bags, as well as a dragon on top which just looks unbelievable. This was a huge success exceeding all of my expectations and fulfilling my childhood dreams after 11 years. Now was on to the final set, Chen's Noodle Truck. Now this is a set which I've been incredibly vocal about getting Ninjago sets that we need. Alright, so the first set is Chen's Noodle Truck. And a set which I was beyond thrilled with when the Fiverr designer came back to me with the finished product. But I still had absolutely no idea if it would be able to be built in real life. But I was about to find out. And I pray to God that this works or else my entire week will be ruined. Nonetheless, I began building, knowing that this set could very well make or break us showing LEGO what the fans really want. Alright, so the front bit of the truck is done. Looking good so far, but this is where things get tricky. The back portion of the truck was what I've been most worried about, not knowing structurally how it would hold up. It's just like a massive box. I don't know how this is gonna work, but we'll find out. And as I began building, things became incredibly apparent, and having waited for years to get my hands on this set, I could only think of one thing. I really want some noodles. And there you have it, Shen's noodle truck. This thing right here completely exceeds all of my expectations. It's just like the set from the show. Structurally, there are absolutely no flaws with it. And you can even open the back part so you can put stuff in. Like an army to then go and attack a village of innocent people. I now had three of my dream Ninjago sets, which I had custom designed for me, ordered all of the parts from across the world, and finally built to add to my collection. And needless to say, it was more than worth it. I think all this left to do now is try to clear up this entire mess. Please subscribe. This was very expensive, but it was worth it.